everyone, it's Lori. Today is Wednesday, January 23rd. Actually, it's not. It's Tuesday, January 22nd. And I'm filming this the night before my knee surgery. So don't tell anybody, okay, that I'm doing it a day early. Um, yeah, it'll just be our secret. So it's December 23rd. Wednesday and I'm here to give you my numbers and update for my 15th week out from uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery which was on October 10th 2012 so it's my 15th week um, I have lost 68 pounds from my highest recorded weight I can't wait for the 70, the number 70. First it was 50, like when I was at 48, I couldn't wait for 50. Now I'm at 68, can't wait for 70. Um, and uh, so 68 total pounds that I've lost, 47 since surgery in 15 weeks and 21 before surgery. And from last week to this week, I've lost three and a half pounds. So in last week's video, um, I had gained a pound and uh, I only mentioned it because, you know, I weigh in every week for you guys and um, I would have said, you know, I gained a pound. But to me, a pound, uh, when I've been eating the way I've been eating, um, is like irrelevant. It's really irrelevant. Um, it could be anything. I mean, you could eat a a pound of lettuce and then weigh yourself or a, a little bit of cheesecake and weigh yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like the you're basically weighing what's in your stomach. Like the cheesecake is going to have no bearing on your weight initially. It will later on because of the calorie count. But if you ate iceberg lettuce, if you ate a whole head of that, that would weigh a lot in your stomach. So a pound to me is like, you know, water or coffee whatever just hasn't come out in my body yet I didn't do anything different at all um, I have been bumping up my water so that's always good but barely any exercise because of my knee um, it just you know my body held on to that pound for whatever reason and then released it and released it and released it so that's just what happens and that's why the scale is only part of it you know you have to I use the scale as a guide but it's not everything okay so let's see Wednesday was my weigh-in day and then Thursday was the day that I saw my doctor was it Thursday yes 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 okay and <clears throat> I had already lost the pa a pound and a half overnight um, so when they weighed me I was pretty low and they said, you know, I got my blood taken and they're going to give me all the results for that. And hopefully that'll be, you know, I'm getting in all my protein and everything's okay that way. Um, but I sat with the nutritionist and showed her everything that I ate. You know that I keep a book of everything that I eat. Um, she thought it was fantastic. She thought all my food choices were very um, creative. Uh, and the doctor, I'm trying, wait, before I get to the doctor, let me just think if she said anything else. I forgot to tell her that I skipped my period. Um, I forgot to tell any of them, so, but I know it's because of the weight loss. Um, and I might just give a call if it continues on, because I still have no sign of it at all. Um, uh, let's see, what else? What else did she say? Um, that's about it, yeah. Um... I'm not having any struggles or anything. I thought she might tell me <clears throat> to have like a muffin or something. Not a muffin, but like a half an English muffin because my friend Steve on here, I guess they had told him that for breakfast and I was going to say, oh, okay, but not do it because I just, I don't want to go that route. But she didn't say that. She thought everything I've been eating is fine. And um, my doctor was absolutely thrilled. He said, I'm ahead of the curve by maybe like, I don't want to say, maybe three months? But I, it couldn't be three months because I've seen a lot of people who are pretty much in line with me having lost 47 pounds in three months. I don't know, but I'm ahead of the curve, I know that. And um, 
that was it. It was very, uh, you know, it felt really great to go in there not being afraid of the scale. It felt good to go in as relatively thin, you know. Um, and um, I'm just, I'm doing really, really great with, with everything. Um, I'm trying to think what else I want to say. Uh, I guess that's it. I don't really have a lot more to say for this week. I'm very, very happy with my weight loss. I mean, 68 pounds. Wow. Oh, just, it's wonderful. It feels great. I've been going into clothing stores more and trying things on and then, sh you know, like shoulder bags fit over my shoulder and rings and necklaces I can put on with no problem. And I used to, um, like, shy away from a lot of that stuff, like trying on the rings and things like that because it was just frustrating that they wouldn't fit. Um, my biggest non-scale victory is the fact that I can easily cross my legs and it's how I sit. It's like, it's like I never couldn't cross my legs. It's just this is how I sit at my computer desk. And um, it's easy. Like it just, it's not like I have to sit, you know, way over so that my leg stays over. It just is my comfortable go-to way of sitting. And I dreamed, dreamed of that day. And now it's here. So I'm really happy. Um, I'm a little nervous about my surgery tomorrow, but not really terribly nervous. Um, not the way I was with this surgery. This surgery was like they were going into my body, you know, into the depths of my body and rerouting my plumbing. And that just, and then like changing my life forever. This knee thing, it's all... It's anthroscopic surgery also. I'll have two little like cuts on the side of my knee, but I think the recoveries for my knee is gonna actually be worse than it was for the, uh, the vertical sleeve. Um, just because you have to use your knee a lot and bend it and it, you know, uh, I'm not looking, and I'll have crutches. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the recovery of it, but once I am recovered, I'm gonna go back to dancing again. Oh my God, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Go back to dancing. I want to start taking yoga, which I was always leery of doing because it's hard on my knees to, to bend in certain ways, but maybe I'll be able to do it now with a fixed knee. Um, I still have arthritis in my knees, so you know, I'll have to be careful. And then I also want to do some body sculpting, like really start... Um, start with my weights. I have been doing my weights sitting here or standing up. I really want to get my arms toned. But I want to I want to just start working on you know really toning, not just the cardio with the dance, but toning. So I'm going to like do a whole bunch of different things. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe join like Planet Fitness. I think it's like $10 a month and go there and work on do some strength training and core training, stuff like that. Maybe take a Zumba class. I don't know, you know, there's so many things. And spring is coming soon and, uh, I don't know. I just feel like I have a lot to look forward to, so. All right, I'm rambling on a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for not giving away my secret about what day this really is, but I'm assuming my weight's gonna be the same tomorrow and if it's down a half a pound, it, probably won't I can tell three and a half for this week was you know a big weight loss and it's stayed off I've been this weight for a little bit now so um yeah so that's it everyone take care and I will see you next week bye